habits people most must have a way to fix and that's an amazing way to fake your nervousness here and appear confident so congratulations uh, toastmaster vivek for putting this technique and i would recommend everybody in this room to make use of this technique because it makes your nervousness really settle down and your confidence boom up i would really like to congratulate and recommend you for the uh, amazing title that you had that was wow second the audience engagement you when you came here up on the stage you asked the first question and that was uh, basically asking how many of you had a mentor right and then uh, you said that you will address that gap okay so i think there are two types of speeches one which sets a context in the first half, in the first half itself and then there are speeches second type of speeches which take you onto a roller coaster ride a ride and it's full of surprises so i think your uh, speech fitted perfectly well into the first uh, first segment which was setting a context which i recommend you for it's always important that we set a context or context or otherwise take the uh, audience to a roller coaster ride again uh, third point that i would like to recommend you for using stories there were two stories that you used one of your the farmer Uh, and the another one of the personal life measuring story again use of quotes which is very good you had um, uh, one quote at an appropriate place which i would recommend you for coming to the recommendations recommendations you uh, i would put your props into the segment of recommendations why because you had uh, you were talking about sticks that could have been broken i would have uh, thought that it could have been more impactful if you would have used wooden sticks and the candle that you used uh, that it would have again made your uh, speech taken up to the next level if you have lit it a real life candle second i would put uh, your stories also into the recommendation box uh, why because uh, you had two stories and uh, uh, i found both of them not interconnected with each other uh, either you could have used one story with a very strong message on mentoring on how mentorship helped you how you felt as a mentee and what's the benefits of being a mentor and a mentee uh, so uh, either both the stories could have been reconnected connected with each other or only one impactful story a third point of recommendation would be transitions your transitions were not smooth enough uh, in the sense like uh, whenever you are talking want to tell a story don't never tell that i am going to tell a story just straight away dive into the message or the story whatever it is and the uh, last uh, recommendation that i would have for you is the relevance of your title with the entire content of your speech there was wow which was an amazing title and i didn't find any relevance to the story or the content you just once you said that one wow factor in my mentoring journey so uh, uh, again a um, uh, point for recommendation for everyone here your title of the message should be sprinkled all across your story or your um, speech which makes the recall value higher when it comes to audience engagement yeah so all in all uh, i would say it's a lovely story that you narrated again uh, some points of recommendation coming to the body language amazing i always say that we with this master we had a perfect body language i could see in this room uh, vocal variety thought it could have been more elevated uh, authenticity to the uh, audience was amazing uh, very relevant examples and stories all in all uh, it could have been a winning speech if you would have made your props uh, a real one <laughs>